like a everybody single, but this one right here, it's like equivalent to hustle hard. Very equivalent to hustle hard. Cause it do make me want to go out here and start. I, I think we, I think we good. To, uh, we don't need to play no music though. I think we good on that. But, but yeah though, I really feel like that hustle hard and hustle hard remix was just like it. You know. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Wale. It, you know, I'm not sure. Since it's not like a, a a trap smash smash hit or whatever, like how uh, who the fuck is that by Nardo Wick? Mm-hmm. That's a trap smash. Too. It deserved a remix. I feel. Mm-hmm. But then with mm-hmm. this one, I feel like it deserves a remix as well too. Yeah. Because it's so it's so good. Yeah. Now if this one got a remix, I think. Let me get on it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get on it. I think if it I think if it got a remix, I think it would have some 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 good heavy hitters. Unlike Drake or Kendrick, I feel like it should be like more so like Trapsters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe Twenty One, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or uh, J Cole really fits in in any category. Honestly, I would say so. In any kind of like rap category, like because I feel like Drake could fit in any pop category, but rap category that's all that's all J Cole. I might live in Atlanta, but I'm going to always be a Carolina nigga. Because I'm going to say this. Let's see. J. Cole. 3-6. 3-6. <laughs> okay. 2-5. Shout out 2-5. 2-5. Yeah, yeah. Put a 9 one in. Bull City. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, yo, Devin, you remember that? Devin, you remember that wild ass nigga that, uh, you may not remember, but I always remember this shit. It was a, uh. During welcome, we it was in like an event we had our first year. Mm-hmm. It was like the nigga he was from Bull. He was from Bull. During, I think we was at the. Uh, oh yeah, he was, was at the auditorium. Yeah. He was going hard, no, and then he was like, "Yeah, Bull City," and he caught the elbows <laughs> and the fucking shit. He was like, "Bro, nigga, elbows hurt." <laughs> I know, fucking elbows hurt. He was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Ooh, shit. Okay, because I went to Central for two years, so. Mm-hmm. Nah, that nigga was definitely OD with. I was like, yo, do niggas really be this ratchet? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, fuck that nigga from Bull Durham. I made it out of here. From Durham man. City. <laughs> N- nigga, I like he was out there trying to get a come up on stage. Right. Okay. I would have loved to see that. <laughs> and that nigga thought he was on 106 and Park or some shit. I would have had that nigga up. Nigga thought he was on 106 and Park or some shit. <laughs> Alright. Anyway. Welcome to What the Fuck Podcast. Yeah. Meow, meow, meow. Gang, gang, nigga. <laughs> yes, sir. Anyway. Yeah, so. <sighs> Boom. Let me cut this little piece right here. Nigga, I need a, uh. You need a smoke break? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We've been talking for so a while, so I was like, okay, hold on. Let me get my. Mm hmm. I'm gonna focus. Right. I need to get some water, too. Gotta have my squeaky voice back. If you post this on Patreon, we you know what? I can cut this. We don't care if you post on Patreon. Yeah, that's the point. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just crazy. Um. Just experiencing things back home, whether it be drama or just like coming up. I think small town living is like. A lot more. I ain't gonna say that it's not boring or that it's like super interesting, but it's somewhere in between, like depending on like what things happen to you mm-hmm. and, and what you see. Because with a town with everybody knowing everybody, it's like there's always drama, right? Because somebody always look at somebody and there's, there's always some shit going down Absolutely. that, that nobody's mm-hmm. knowing about. And then once somebody knows about it, you tell the right people, it all spreads around. Hmm. Like it's crazy, like. I ain't gonna say my hometown, but <clears throat> I guess crazy like uh like scandals, I I would say. And I guess it's not really like a s I guess it's not really like a scandal per se, more like charges. <laughs> more like charges. Um like, like when it comes to I think we I think I told you about the story as well too, like uh with under eight with underage girls and it'd be like these old ass men or like mm. coaches and shit like that. Mm. Like did you mm. like did you ever hear about that, Devin? Like about mm. that's just crazy. Uh I was this one like this one girl, I think she was like I think she was like sixteen or something at the time. Right. And then 
it was like one of the coaches from my school was talking to her, and it was like over. I think it was going on for a while. But I think everybody found out like during the summer mostly, mm. and that's what happened. It was about to be the summer, and like it came out. It was all over Facebook and everything. It was like he was messing with her for when a while. Facebook blast you? No, it, it's like a whole nother level of ain't everybody know. And then it's like when Facebook blasts you, if they don't nowadays, they seem to tag you. But back then. They didn't tag you. You just kind of knew who it was or everybody would make inferences and be like, oh, yes, yeah, this person or that person or whatever like that. They never say names. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, everybody just blasts everybody's shit out there, right? Because, mm-hmm. you know, you get famous for, like on Twitter, you get famous for exposing DMs or, uh, excuse me, you get famous for exposing DMs on whether it be Snapchat or Twitter. It don't matter. Text messages. They, they love exposing you. And they don't care if your name up there or if your phone number up there, too. Yeah, it'd be... It'd be treacherous out there. <laughs> we fucking know. It'd be treacherous. But yeah, when they was talking about, they was talking about the girl, I was like, and everybody would make assumptions about who it was, and then you see the look on their face, and it'd be true, like, some cute shit right there. It was a girl in my high school who tried to act like the coach was looking up their dresses or up their little shorts and stuff. Talking about something. We need a tie now. You got a whole woman. Is not Why is so fucking fast though? Okay, and, and you know that was always a black kid, but you know what? It was a white kid in my school. Yeah, because yeah, you went to a white school. I sure did. White school, mm. white school is definitely different from black school. Drama right? is so different. Oh my god! <laughs> but y'all had dramas about plays and shit. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this high school musical bitch, <laughs> like that's what ba- I grew up. The basketball star trying to be a, a fucking lead singer or some shit. <laughs> in the Hell play. no! Hell no! And you know what? At white school, people sleep around in black school out here. But at white school, when people sleep around, it's a football team or shit up with a baseball team. It's never nothing small. Like, just up with one or two people. Scandals be so big at, at white school. Like, something totally different. When people saying nigga, black shit happened in my school. I talk about y'all school. Y'all never talk about stuff like that. Y'all have the racism shit. Nah, you really don't experience racism at like the predominantly black schools, honestly, because the white people are a minority. Now, if they say, I mean, you don't hear about it, obviously, right? Mm hmm. They be, I feel like they be, they be reaching for nigga passes, though. Like certain ones. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like this is, uh, I feel like it was a guy in my school who kind of tried to reach for uh, nigga passes. Uh, I'm not going to describe him or anything, but, uh, Definitely, I think I, I feel like he was kind of reaching for it, but he was like he was one he was one of the new he was one of the newer kids that came in high school. Say the name so Devin can agree, okay. so that and we'll bleep it out. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I, feel, I feel like he was the one that was reaching. For, I feel like he was the one reaching for for N word passes a lot. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of like yeah, I want to say it. But I'm only gonna say if you let me say it, uh-uh. and you gotta tell me something. Like, nah, see, you kind of reaching for it. It gotta come. It gotta come on some Eminem shit when you think like that. You know what college you went to? <laughs> Which one you go to? <laughs> That's right. Oh. He went to. He went to oh. HBCU. That's right. <laughs> oh wow. Which is wow. crazy. And he because I feel like it was a white. Thing, oh shit. This is like, oh, you get a white boy in here. Oh, everybody gonna think he cool. That was just what it was automatically. Definitely cutting this out of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely got to bleep this whole part out. <laughs> Y'all to expose, homie. Damn. Oh, wow. Nah, I feel like he was. And if he wasn't, I mean, my bad. <laughs> if he wasn't, my bad. This was kind of what it seemed like. But on the, on the other end of the spectrum, though, he, he kind of like, he grew like, like the way his whole like facial shit is set up now, it, he kind of looked like he was racist. Like kind of now, not yeah. saying he, not saying he is, but that's what it looked like, you know. Like, mm. ar- like you, you, you mm. picture your archetype of Kyle, right? You know, and then you got like the, the certain kind of stash or whatever. How you have your stash set up, it kind of look like it. That's that's really all it is. Mm. Well, you know, I went to white school, so you know what racism look like. Oh Lord! Oh my gosh! I just know. Like seventy five percent of my school of white people was definitely voting for Trump this year. I already know. You couldn't fool me. And if y'all wasn't, also I'm glad. <laughs> 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 but but y'all seen real. And I told you.
school. I was a quiet kid in school. So like this me now? Oh boy. I would have been a bully in school. Mean girl. Oh, you bully now for sure. I don't Regina know. Regina George. Why was I like this in school? Boo, you whore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. High school. Mm-hmm. And the kids that the girls who did act black. They were white men now, I know that. And then it was back to my school. What happened to the BBC train y'all was on? Not BBC train. That's just BBC. It was on black. They they would be on black. <laughs> <laughs> They getting blacked out. Now, now, there's, a, now there's a one of multiple. Multiple. In high school, yeah, because that's all I ever sang. I don't know. They always they, they insert they insert themselves or whatever. Is that is that how I see? Cause see, like the the uh, the uh, the YouTube kids at my school, <laughs> they would never like really insert themselves like that. They always stuck in there, the certain tables or whatever. Like you, like, everybody sit to themselves like when you get to like lunch or whatever, which is like obvious because then pretty sure at your school it was the black kids stick with each other. Yeah. And then you got some probably like you that was in the mix that was always in the mix in between. Yeah. See us, we kind of we kind of had that like the in the Hispanics or the La, the Latinx people they just like stick in their own space space mm-hmm. too. And it wasn't too many of them they stuck in their own space. Yeah. Yeah, so it's probably like eight of us. I don't know. Just that I don't know. <laughs> had a small school in high school. Mm-hmm. Had a very small school. But it was small in my eyes. It was like 3A, 4A, something like that. My school? No, my oh, school. Your school? It was like 3A, 4A, something like that. My school 4A. 4A? Mm. Mm-hmm. Damn. Now, school is big. Our middle school was a high school. It was an old high school. Oh, that's right. That's right. You were telling me that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our middle school was an old high school. And we transitioned to the high school high school, which wasn't that much bigger, honestly. Right. The middle school was so big. You had two teams, two best. Yeah, that's teams. true. You had a blue. You had a blue team. You had a gold team. Right. Team A, team what? B. You made you made team A, which is the gold team. Oh yeah. Oh, you, you certified. You certified. <laughs> you a superstar. You, you, you certified. <laughs> they had you. They had you at certified. Team oh two. boy. Gold squad. We went undefeated. Blue yep. squad. Blue squad. Blue squad. <laughs> you may lose. Bro, yeah. bro, we was trash. Man. They put me on the blue squad. We was trash. We was trash. The coaches was trash too. <laughs> coaches didn't know what kind of plays they were making. Oh or whatever. wow, they deprived y'all. They did. Damn. Blue, blue team was trash. I ain't play sports. I was on the team. But they had men's volleyball. I think I was eight in that. I ain't gonna lie. Men's volleyball. I think I was eight. But you know, girls volleyball is like. Is it? Volleyball is really just for women, as, as they say. But then you see, like, other countries or other schools or whatever, or even fucking Olympics or whatever. I guess some richer white schools could be. They have, like, boys volleyball, which I think is mm. cool. I just want to say that I was only on track and field because I was as long as it was in my senior year. <laughs> I really didn't care to win shit. Mm. I just needed to be in the book so when they little hook that shit up, I'm involved. That was all I need. Extracurricular other than band. Okay, because I mean, that's all I had. <laughs> that's, that was it. And band I was like, time. and I wasn't going to school for music. So I was like, what am I showing these people? Because <laughs> I'm talking about going to school to be a scientist or some shit at the time. Like, <laughs> now, now. Just, just like, just trying, to, just trying to transition into that as well, too. It's just like thinking about. Thinking about college at, at the point of time too. Like I ain't trying to think about college. I'm trying to think about pussy. <laughs> at high school. Like, but, hey, you trying to worry about like a, a personal life too? I was a closet bisexual. You have to imagine how it was for me. Yeah, you was a band geek. So I already know how. I already know how it was. Bitches is everywhere, and they won't even all that fine now. I think about it. Uh, obviously. That's how it is in a small town. Mm. You get in a small town, right? You think this is all the bitches is ever going to be in life, right? Uh, Boy. And then this thing, you step out to college? Who? North, who North these Carolina baddies? Central. Who are these baddies <laughs> out here? Auntie. Who are these okay. baddies out here? The land of ass and titties. Who are these, <laughs> who are these fucking women out here? I, I mean, hurt me. Let me tell you something. If you're my ex-girlfriend out there, yes, I cheated on you. I just never told you about it. All the bitches I had in my life. Oh, this nigga treacherous right now. Okay. This nigga hella treacherous. 
Either way. <laughs> At least all my exes out there. I cheated on you. Yeah, it happened. And technically, I didn't cheat because I waited till you told me you want to go on break. And I was like. Hall pass. I was crying. Okay, hall pass. Okay. I was crying in tears, but once we got that phone, when you left. It is what it is. Like, what happens in, <laughs> whatever stays in. Okay. 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 <laughs> Not a gang go. <laughs> not how a gang do. Not a gang do. Boy, but the amount of vagina I've had in my day since we college was showing me, <laughs> <laughs> for showing me the light to come out. Oh no, boy! Isn't, no, isn't that crazy though? Like, well, for me, like navigating to pussy was crazy. Like, I remember in high school thinking like, oh, you gotta wipe these hoes to get pussy. Now I get out. I get out of college, like, you don't got to wipe anybody get pussy. You got to say you want pussy. Or finesse your way to it. But, say, but, you know, being good, maybe going on a couple of dates or whatever. Yeah. Transition to friends with benefits or whatever it may be happening afterwards. And now that we're closer to 30, pussy so easy to get now. Because everybody just throwing their dicks away. They don't even, they, they done been through enough pain. They just want to see the go. <laughs> Niggas said they got miles. They said I don't care. We going to put more no miles kidding. in the engine. At this point, they're just like, listen. Oil change every now and again. Right. You like sushi. I like sushi. You know. Let's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like sushi? Me too. All right. Me too. So how do you like it? Yeah. So, you, so you breathe air. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Let's fuck. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, right, so what are you trying to meet up? I'm like, dang, I'm. I'm a sophisticated lady, like, dang, as Dear said, I got a lot to offer, okay? I got a lot of offerness, so. Yeah, the words you make up, be. I didn't say that. That was Dear, so. She said that? Shout out to (laughs) Dear. The English dictionary is fucking hilarious. She got a lot to offer, okay? And I feel her, because I do, too, so. Black people come up with the most words. I think out of everybody, <laughs> I promise you, they just so they just so good at making up shit on the spot. It's a teacher out there it's teaching her students. She's like, "What does eight mean?" And you know, like, of course, like past tense of eating, but they'd be like, "Like she ate, like yeah, she she did mm-hmm. the thing." And I was like, "Yeah, see, it's you multi- teaching them it's, babies it's by it's the young." Things. AAVE is really lit. All right, white people, <laughs> y'all have no, y'all have no sauce, like. Don't you wish I could have a AG? Not Chet Hanks got sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Chet, Chet Hanks was out here hanging for a while. He was he was a little 50 50 split. <laughs> That's your half, man, of, half of everybody liked this patois. The other half was just like, nah, this nigga culture vulture. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, daddy, did you better than that? He ain't teach you to be this way. Oh, nigga, fuck. nigga, Forrest ain't teach you that. Forrest ain't teach you how to blend with uh with bubblegum shrimp. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he should have learned something by now. That nigga was funny. Nah, you stupid for that, Ellie. <laughs> I can't stand that nigga for, that. for real. He funny, <laughs> he funny as fuck, but I can't stand this nigga. Boy, I'm so glad he's been out in the media for a while. I think he had to lay low after that. You better lay low. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Whitney. <laughs> <laughs> you better uh, love her. You better love her. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, she boy. was she was up there feeling herself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cause she was. <laughs> yeah, she was. She let's, was just, let's be real. My girl yeah, was. She was gone. She was zooted. Zooted. <laughs> yeah, she was zooted off whatever. Boy, that's cool though. Well, she had know? the nose cannon, whichever one they they decided to do backstage or, or before the show. Lord, I'm saying like I'm, I was so happy when Lifetime put the truth out. And now they come out with another movie about her too. I'm so happy. Now nah, it was kind of lit though. Like, okay. Looking at it. I ain't gonna lie, Casta might have been the lead on that one. And go front, the girl who did it on Lifetime was pretty decent too, and it had Deborah Cox with music, which I don't know who's doing it this time, but they should have stuck with that because Deborah Cox was. Deborah Cox. Um, who's Deborah Cox? I, I know that name. She's an uh, R&B singer, old school. Oh, okay, I didn't okay, say old okay. School, but you know, back in the day, 
You gotta say back in the day, that's the old school. <laughs> Damn, I forget the seventies like fifty years ago. It's, it's not thirty years ago. Like oh, you, oh, you, oh, you feel? Oh, you feel like uh, 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 how they said like? Oh yeah, it's like the nineteen nineties was just thirty years ago. Oh Damn. shit! I'm... Now, now things that we call throwbacks are probably classics now. Just imagine that, like like two thousand ten is a throwback. Two thousand oh is, is a classics. Like Jaro and Ashanti are probably considered classics now. Damn. Which is crazy, right? They, like, ooh, ooh, Nellyville, I'm pretty sure that's a classic. Is he going to get the Lifetime Award on BET? He might one year. Okay. Genuinely the, need to get that shit, too. If you want to go and take a ride with me, if you want to go with those Z's, oh, wow, that's my little thing. If uh, Lil Wayne wanted to use that little clip right there, just let you know. Life. I gave him a little clip. Cool. I Lil Wayne. Oh, the lighter flick? Yes, yeah, so he's like, <laughs> that... <laughs> That clip way to let me know because you know, I got nah, you. Nah, nigga used to kill that shit on no hey. the, the no ceilings mix. They used to kill the lighter flick every song. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, you already know about the fire. That lighter oh, flick come on. boy. The nigga still do it to this day, too. I know. He do it on the, the last time I heard him do it was on Big Sean's album, Down Life. I was like, ooh, and he killed that shit, too. I'm still disappointed, my nigga, though. He really a future artist now. He really a feature artist. He's yeah. crazy, but he get, his features be so much better for some reason. It's like he got goaded features. You had a waiting forever for the car to uh, five. Mm-hmm. Almost for, the, almost for the car to four as well too. Car to five was car to five was straight though. It was car to five was good. I, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Funeral though, I don't know about that one. You could put that. You could have kept that one. I just, I don't know. I've been having. Conversations what the fuck was I looking at years. when I was twelve? Cause I thought that man was gonna be my husband, and now. Well, he changed a lot. He, a lot. his uh, locks are more free form. Um, he died him. Uh, I think he doesn't get retwists often, obviously. Uh, and then he got more, a lot more face tattoos now. He looked like my my mama had this fine ass hair, bro. He was so fine, so fine. And he started drinking. And that's exactly what Lil Wayne looked like now. Like it's like he started drinking, and his whole face looks so different. Like it's it's not cute. So would would so would you double back? Well, not double back. Would you have slid on him? Fuck your mama. <laughs> I have a feeling my mama know who I'm talking about, and if she ever see this, <laughs> would you have slid on him? Me now as an adult, if he was still looking the same way he did now, back then, like now, like he didn't fuck up. Oh, I'm about to tell her about it. I ain't gonna let her find out. I ain't gonna let her find out. See, I'm gonna well go ahead and be a, a, a man. I'm gonna have to let her know. Yeah, he fine. A slob on. He fine. He was so. He was so fine. Oh my god. Was he like? Like comparatively to a celebrity, was he compared? Can you compare mm, to anybody? Like Marlon back in the day. Marlon Wayans. Yes, because he had such. He was so slim. He was so fine. Oh, he was so fine. He was dark skinned. With, with the with the ugly locks, he had locks too. Mm-mm, he just had a little fade top shit. Oh, he was just mm, he kept himself together. I never been like so infatuated with him as a kid. Like I love my mom. I better go to his house. Better go to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This your mama, man. You over here like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. I don't want to say his name. And then my mama, other ex-boyfriend. And I don't think he's fine enough, but he look like the big dude from uh, Boys the Men. What's his name? Um, you know what I'm talking about. The big one in the group. Yeah, him. He look just like him. Really? Mm-hmm. Fine. I was like, damn, my mama dating. I used to tell people that as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, my mama dating the dude from Boys the Men. And then she'd be like, that is not him. him. <laughs> That's the dude from Boys the Men. I remember that dude. <laughs> oh, so she like, That's not him. That's Yeah. I figured you did. Appreciate you. you. You're a W producer. Hey, shout out, shout out. <laughs> Devin, Devin. The best stuff happened off camera. Don't. Okay. When you don't know a song. Devin. <laughs> Dev DeMarco, DeMarco. Be looking at we're going to get him a mic because we want him to be up on here with y'all. So, Unless you want to be a special guest type shit or whatever and stay behind there. Devin Devon, I'm in the building. Got to cut these so they er- can be. Eric and Andre's show coming, type shit coming soon later. We're going to figure out a way to do that. Right. <laughs>
Start throwing shit and doing mm. shit. Oh, yeah. Random shit happening. Mm. What's that nigga name that be up there with him? Oh, you talking about, uh, 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 uh. Damn, uh, Hannibal Burris. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hannibal Burris. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say it. Shout out, City. Mm. I didn't even think he was fine until I saw that. Really? Yeah. He played a, a different kind of character, oh, yeah. huh? He's a hottie on there. Mm-hmm. I see it. I see why Alana was trying to... I fuck Alana. And he was a dentist, so you know he, had, he was mm-hmm. stacking. She fell for... Show me the way. And I like that how they... <laughs> you know what? And I like how they dated. I like how they was really friends, and then it kind of just... It was, and then it went to friends to benefits. And then the benefits to, like... I actually love you or care about you. Right. Damn. Mm-hmm. Real natural, real organic. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Dan, Dan like that is really what, where it's at, just to find that, that happy medium. And then I think it's also a hard part, too, when you want what you want, right? Yep. And the other person wants what they want. Did it online. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It online. Like beyond just like the natural like do you want a relationship relationship or do you want sex? It's it's more like deeper. Like what do you want in a person? Do you want to respect me and, and do right by me or do you just wanna fuck on me and then move on? Cause I would oh, like you to tell me, me. Fuck on me, get somebody else and fuck on both. <sighs> And we'll see the problem with niggas is they think they're the only one that want to do shit like that. So then it fucks up it the dating like work. That. It do feel like that because the way, it's just because like things like social media, like Twitter, it be like that. Like they it definitely make it a way where a nigga is trying to talk, and then DMs blasted. <laughs> it, it's kind of crazy. And like, niggas and niggas end up as a public tweet. <laughs> I'm saying, and I've been trying not to do that because. Now, some of the shit you tell me about that was kind of wild. Because niggas on social media are nasty. They're nasty. I don't like it. So, <laughs> so there is no successful dating for me as a black woman. Because like, my industry. Twitter and all that. Yeah. I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be finding a soulmate on Twitter. I'm like, how? On Facebook. Remember? It's Instagram now Instagram really is a dating site, no cap. Instagram really is a dating site, no cap. It it just depends on if you got a blue check or not. No lie. I don't even have a blue check. No lie, Devin. This bitch randomly, just recently, slid in my DMs on Instagram. She live in fucking a different state. <laughs> this bitch slid in my shit. She been trying to get on my ass since day one. She asked me if I was gay. She didn't ask what I was into. She didn't give a fuck about none of that shit. She was on it. Bruh, <laughs> news and all. She talking about something. You're not going to see me nothing bad. I said, bitch, I meant to like, can you mentally stimulate me? Like, hey. Nah, but she pull up in the scat pack, though. <laughs> Bruh. Well, the y'all that don't know what it is either, you can go look it up. I promise you, oh, you don't want to look it up. But if, you, if you're curious, that's I didn't say. And, here. and I don't have your own risk. no problem. What would she do for money? But I ain't into it, so I'm skeptical because she be trying to really fuck on me, and I'm like, damn, girl, like, what's my middle name? You you don't know, okay. Now, it's kind of crazy, though, how uh, aggressive women can be to other women on, on social media. But as soon as a guy do it, oh, he, like I said, he ended up a Twitter, he up a pop up tweet on Twitter. <laughs> guy be trying to be like, I'm trying to fuck on you real easy. Uh, uh-uh. Bruh. Look at this screenshot. Look at this. And how I be, thirsty this nigga is. I try not to out niggas. Like, I got niggas literally sending me money, doing shit. And I'm like, you be mad at me. <laughs> for establishing a business when you don't take opportunity to take me on a date. You don't be want to talk about let's go to the movies and then you be like, oh, let's cut to the chase. Okay, wait. Well, that calls. Cut to the chase. Like, should have just took me. You should have just took me to Benny Hines. Uh, that's so much cheaper. Now you got to pay. Is it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Is it? Benny Hanna is like 150. Nah, I run it up on a nigga. If I was if I was an <laughs> Instagram model type girl or just really pretty girl in general, nah. Or you, since it happens to you. If I was you, I'd be like, nah. I'm just going about to be like, you got to up it. That's pretty much how you feel, right? Absolutely. I'm trying to get my money up right now. I'm trying to end like Carisha. Shout out Diddy. Okay, I'm trying to get ice <laughs> out. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to get the fucking chains and shit. Like, I'm trying to be up there. Like, these Instagram bitches, y'all be on something. Y'all know the tea, the real truth. Maybe having the game figured out somehow. Okay, the real hustlers in the streets, okay? For these niggas. I'm talking about something I hustle. Nah, y'all don't hustle like them bitches. Got every nigga in the rap game looking at him. Shout out Ari. And I'm looking at you too. Ari, Ari flipping her motherfucking thing. She she break up with fucking uh what's her name? Money bad. Are you single? Nigga. That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. When, it, when people that be connecting the dots like that, I'm like damn, y'all really have no time but to do this. What? You really make a living off of connecting dots like this? But I ain't gonna lie. When I find it, I'm like damn, that's crazy. Ari. Already. <laughs> now, did she have him in the weights? You know, everybody like in the music industry just be doing that as well too. They do be praying on each other. That's what successful dating looks like to them. Like Drake, Meek Mill, and Rick Ross all share one girl. And probably Future, probably in that same. And then also on Staying Alive, oh, I'm a hitter, send it a baby. That's how you get when it's like it too crazy, like. <laughs> Once again, we on baby, and I just know you got a girl like Jada. Jada Wade. Jada what all? That bitch is fine, so. Yeah, they, they fucking funny on social media, though. Every time they... <laughs> <laughs> It's like that Office episode, Snip Snap. It's like that they, they back and forth. <laughs> they be so on and off. Bruh, the, the infamous fucking... Couple right now is fucking Chris Allen and uh Blueface. and Blueface. Hey, like, hey, they like they 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 like uh uh what's the name? The fucking Hardy. <laughs> the, Hardy <laughs> 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 fucking, <laughs> the way they be coming through fucking yes, <laughs> fighting and shit. Twitter too funny with that. And when he got hit by when he got hit uh by Chris Allen's father and hit it a little drawback. Somebody said I I know he got hit. Sound like he said ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey yo! Oh my god, y'all niggas on social media. From who the fuck is this nigga to like? Yeah, everybody know he like a household name. It's like oh my god, some crazy shit going on. Am I stupid? I was like, yeah, I'm about to get on his show. And that's successful dating right there to them. Oh man, it really is whoever you find. Y'all be with the shits. It's it's like a Bobby Whitney too. And I love Krishan. I'm gonna say it. I do. I think she's so cute. I don't judge anybody in their lifestyle. Mm. I guess y'all look, y'all want to live with a bunch of drama. Hey, you, you know, like it? I love it. <laughs> you with like, it? Everybody find it. I don't want that though. Y'all got it. I can't be in no toxic child ass shit. Try to take Gotti though. He, I mean, not take Gotti. Arrogant Tay. He he live a life I want. <laughs> I'm pretending I'm a gay man. I'm getting them panties. <laughs> Are you really pretending though? I don't think you pretend. I'm just, like, I'm just playing. Hold on, let me say. It. I'm just playing. I love the LGBT because I'm queer. I'm just saying. This nigga said that, but but yeah, no 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 hate or anything like that. But it's really just like he really be like feeling all on on every. I'm like. Yeah, that's crazy. I could I could live just jacking off to that at night. I guess. You stupid. Yeah, I could I could deal with it. That nigga be with everybody. Shit, I'm trying to get, be with him. That's crazy. There was a guy like that in my high school. <laughs> the same always, guy that's trying to slide on you. Yeah. <laughs> always was like that. I promise you. Always knew in, in high school they deny it. All the girls that deny, it. no, he not like that. Crazy. But then, but then this ain't no pop out, and it's just like he comes out. I was like, I was happy for him. Cause I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, about time, cause you know. It was a guy in my high school too, and he took a girl to um, a black girl to prom. He was white. 
I knew I just knew he was gay. And then when he finally told me, I was like, I knew you was crazy crazy how they <laughs> You know. Yeah maybe me too. Together. That was just it's really just funny. Love gay friends. Shout out to our gay friends. Yeah, I got, got a lot of them. Oh yeah, you got one all the all, you got all, all but us, the T. Yep, all of us except T. Yep. That's a great shot to y'all. That really made me a better person, including you. And this one right here behind the shot, Devin, Devin. Yeah, shot, Devin, Devin. You if you don't get it, the gay joke, it'll man. Be, it'll, be, it'll be later. One day, maybe you'll get it'll it. We'll plug you later. <laughs> so uh, they might find it on their own. Right. Like, hey, it's that nigga Paige right here. Uh, you, know how, you know how black Twitter do. Exactly. Oh, that's him. Oh, that's what they mean when they keep saying gay shit towards him. All they, all they need is your first name. There right. There got that. Right. It's LaMarcus, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Is this Daquan? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you that shit is funny. I be calling him that all the time. Jesus Daquan, Christ Johnson, stop playing. Oh man, he's funny. <laughs> he's good. Black Twitter really just be doing it. You ever feel some type of way about messing with religion? Sometimes, like you know, sometimes after prayer, how you be like. <laughs> Like, damn, I know he's looking at me like, please stop. Why are you so weird with God? I don't know. I, I thought he'd be like, we cool. Okay, he know you weird? Yeah. He, I mean, we all made in his image. I'm just a part of him. That's true. See? That's true. All right. He, he See, ain't give me the best. You, you was definitely a church goer. You, the way you flip those words around, you definitely a church goer. Okay, want to do it? Mm-hmm. Okay. When you're a church goer, you flip, you flip the Bible into anything you want. Because Psalms 39 said, <laughs> Psalms 39 verse 16 said, Okay. And my. The church would be flipping the, the hell out of those other verses. Don't and you? I thought I was about to be a pastor. Scripture was crazy. There was a point in time I was like, Yeah, I'm going to be a minister when I grew up. What? You know, I was. Nah. Mm-mm. Definitely not now. But, you know, there was a, uh, uh, my homeboy's uh, father in law said, He's like, you going to be a pastor one day. I was like, I don't see it. I straight up told him like that. That's how I don't see it. I can't do it. This might this might be the form of it, I guess, in a way. But as far as like spreading the word of God, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, strictly mm-hmm. Christianity, it's me, not for me. I messed up a long Kurt, time Kurt ago. Kurt Franklin got it. Um, everybody else is popular got it. Uh, everybody had a TV show. Joyce Myers, Plaz brother, Kurt Franklin. <laughs> Fraternal twin. <laughs> I'm just playing. Child Nick Cannon. <laughs> oh, hold on, don't step too close now. Why you pregnant? You see okay, that video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga stupid. Hey, it's funny. Oh boy. Oh man. Hell yeah, no. Nah. I the day the day you know? Day in the day in pool now. It's like contaminated. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna say water down, but it's like contaminated. Mm. I don't know what's worse. Is is data pool for y'all worse or data pool for me worse? I don't think it I think it's all the same, honestly. Mm. I don't really think it's uh too different because we all have our problems, right? Or we all have mm-hmm. things that we dislike and what we don't want to settle for, some things we'll settle for. But it's, yeah. it's really all like a preference, right? Oh Jesus! Like I think it's like also like a disconnect too, where you want to link with somebody and be like, "Oh, well, I want a relationship," and then you're just like, "Well, nah, I don't." On a first date, that's weird. On a second date, that's weird. On a fifth date, that's still weird. Like, why would you say that to me? We don't even really know each other for you to be saying something about I want to be in a relationship. No, because it's just like. It's like matching with people and like they strictly put in like their bodies. Well, oh, straight like, up, like in a relationship, and he try to, and he like, now nah, I'm trying to fuck, and you swipe right on them, and y'all match. <laughs> that's that's what dating is like these days. It's, it's that crazy because one party is pressed over like one thing, like nah, they look good though, so I'm gonna see what I can get out of them. I mm. need to stop doing that because see, I be looking at, I be like, as soon as they hit me with the, what you trying to do? Especially the women, the women would be. 
Oh what, my what god. Is the other women, for what you tell me. Oh my god. Women are so much worse than men. Like you be signing, like that girl I sent you that I showed you that day. She said in my DMs. Okay, first of all, hold up. I said in her DMs because we I said something to her like on the replies or whatever. And then she was like, along the lines of, Yeah, I'm gonna go back home and watch your Twitter and I'm gonna do the do to myself. I was like, Oh, okay. I was like, Okay, cool. She was like, oh, can, we, can we talk later? I was like, Yeah, I said you want my number. She was like, Cool, yeah, I gave my number. Why she still messaging me on Twitter? You got my number. I was like, so you on Twitter most of the day, huh? That's what it sounds like. You know, some people prefer like that. I don't know why. Or maybe, or maybe she only do it on Twitter because she got a nigga. You probably got an Android. I really feel like that's what it is. And if you got a nigga, would she, would she never text you at all? No, she only wants to talk to me on Twitter. I feel like it's weird. That's kind of annoying, right? Yes. It's just like it's just like messaging on a dating app forever, and it's just like I don't want to be a pen pal on mm-hmm. this app. If you get it straight to my phone, I get the, I get the. It feels quicker, at least. The phone off. You gotta fix it with what's in the wild. Damn. That's how I know she got an Android. It's I know. Phone. You ain't got no messaging like me. So. You gotta think that Android uses her. I do. And I think it's. I know I shouldn't be so biased about it. Now, what's gonna happen when they actually bridge the gap? Now, what? Because they're about to. They hinted at it. It's type of it's the type of Android I got a problem with. It's not really that it's an Android, but it'd be the type when I see it. Like it's not right. no name brand, name brand. Yes. Yeah, right. it's not no good one like a, the it's good Google. Google. Yeah, like it's not, not that. Pixel, it's not a it's not a Samsung. You got the shit out of Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> was it yeah. was it in a pack? <laughs> right, right. It, it didn't come in a box. That's what I have a problem with, and that shit. Burn, it's a burner phone. It's a girl. I, the same girl, Scat Pack. Um, she got an Android, but it don't even receive pictures for real, for real. And she be wanting me to send her news. Girl, how? Where you gonna get a man? <laughs> like, what are you texting me off of? Why you have such a hard time getting a picture? Like. And my, Lord, maybe my mama is watching this because I hate the phone she got, and I've been trying to put her ass on a fucking iPhone for the longest. Just let me switch your life over. She's talking about all these problems. Well, I don't want to give her the phone. Well, stop fucking calling me. Ask me how to fix some shit. Like parents don't know how to use Google. You ever noticed that? <laughs> Google, it's a generational thing. Millennials use Google like it's what everything now. I think everybody from millennials and all use Google as everything. I Google stupid shit. I think everybody Google stupid shit. That's how to suggest <laughs> be the fuck the way they are. I Google the worst shit because I don't know what it is and I want to know the answer to it. And I can't help it. Like It's like a drug Googling shit. Because you get to a hole where you just, you start off with puppies and then later on you're like. Child you too. <laughs> exactly. The wormhole is ridiculous. Right. TikTok? To stop at Reddit. Being in a Reddit wormhole is, is the worst shit ever. Like I learned drug, how to do drugs. <laughs> I've read people's stalker stories up there. I have seen some of the worst like family drama up there. People talk so much back shit. Rooms. You ever get into the Reddit back Oh rooms? my god. There is a thread up there where it talks about like how does people like kill people? Oh, like on Wayfair? Yeah, it's kind of like some shit like that. It's so crazy. That's why I don't be ready. I had to delete it. Wayfair, uh, maybe, maybe not. You know? Oh, because I don't want the government to come after me for saying it, but I believe it happened. Whatever Wayfair got, I ain't, I ain't bought nothing from Wayfair ever anyway. So they ain't got my black money. You know who do get my black money though? Shin. <laughs> Them niggas got kids making their clothes. There's <laughs> sweatshop everywhere. Bruh, they be writing help Especially in the tags. Nike. Niggas love Nike. But I don't be doing that though. They be like, help me, send help. 
in the tags and shit. People that are crying and shit over them people. Ooh. My my soul. I'm gonna say something real wrong. Oh, I'm not there, so I can't complain about what type of job they gotta take to make ends meet. I can't. I feel just like people are still buying it every day. I'm gonna go sit up here and complain about their life. Ain't nobody stopping it. Nobody's trying to stop it. My voice ain't gonna stop it. So it might. You don't have faith. It's all about passion, though. My car is at five hundred dollars. I mean, I can only talk so much. <laughs> I'm trying to say this, but I'm like, yeah, no. I mean, I'm not the voice of people. But somebody's the voice of people out here, but it ain't me. Oh, that's good. Okay. I've been waiting to get my paycheck. Like, (laughs) put that shit right on corner. (laughs) Cha-ching. Okay. We see it go through. Yeah, leave my Ooh. account. Yeah, leave, go ahead, leave my account. I'll see you next two weeks, Clarna. <laughs> oh, boy. Y'all is funny. Y'all got me crying. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Dana's, Dana is definitely like a teach his own. Because a lot of people have success stories. And a lot of people have not successful stories or, or whatever. And do you think dating apps kind of desensitize a lot of things, too? Like me Absolutely. Person? Everything's quick at the fingertips, and then you can talk. You have social media nowadays. Is like everybody has their own option or has a set of options. No matter no matter what you look like. Well, I don't think it mattered beforehand, but you know the game had to be a lot different back mm. then to have a lot of women or a lot of men. You know, depending on preferences. I will just say, social media got a grip on people when it comes to dating. Because they ever got an image of what it is. Either you seen on Twitter that somebody fell in love on Twitter. Or you seen somebody breaking up on Twitter. Or somebody doing some like foul shit on Twitter. You're like, damn, I hope this don't happen to me. And so now That's it's scary, like, right? Yeah. Oh, and as a woman dating, boy. I, I don't even be dating. I don't even... Getting hollered at is enough. To like, be like, nope, rejection, I don't want to do it. Rejection, truly. I mean... The I fact that I have to right. really actually give niggas my number and then when they t- when they text me, I have to just go ahead and block it because there's no other choice for me. Who wants a date? Who wants a date? Like, and I'm so pissed because this nigga, you know, I told you, nigga, I was like, oh, you want me to play security guard? I told this nigga, yeah, he gonna, if he going to bring his girl, it's 500 if you want to, you know, do something. Not that I sell my body or nothing like that, but I'm just like, off gate, you talking about want to fuck? You don't even ask me on a date. You're not gonna take me, you know, spend a block with you a little bit for a couple of hours, just chill or something. You just jump right into fucking. Okay, well, I'm gonna charge you because it's just like, well, you want something and I want something, so it's nothing trying, nothing really mutual going on here. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, pay me. This nigga talking about some. Oh, I want pictures. Oh, I want. Okay, prove that you about to put some money in my pocket. Go ahead and sit that first 20. That's your first deposit. Get you some pictures. Oh, now he don't want... He's like, oh, no. I guess I got to pay for everything. I specifically told him. I literally said it in mission. I was just like, bro, you could have took me to, like, Red Lobster, and I might have sucked your dick for free. Not Red Lobster. He got, he got I, I mean, but I understand niggas got... Niggas is broke these days. Say, say Benny Hanna. I would like to say Benny Hanna, but say Benny Hanna or Ru Chris. But to be fair to the niggas that who cannot afford those places, I understand you're not taking me to Wendy's, so I'll settle for Red Lobster because I know that's all you can afford. Beyonce and Red Lobster don't really put off a spell on things, huh? I know that's right. You did. <laughs> but I'm like, mm, they don't work for me. Yeah, well, it's trash anyway. Like I told you about the, the similar situation to what you had now is why I told you we, we was back in uh, North Carolina when my, my homegirl, how she only saw me she only saw me as meat, essentially. Only saw me as dick. Yep. And then the same thing, she was just like, she hit me up 
at, at booty call hours, I was talking about, so well, what you doing? Like, I don't think you need to hit the cash app. For real. You don't hit the cash app, we get to talking. Okay. I'm all about my money. Then, but didn't want to do that, sent, go send me a, I sent the cash app, she sent me a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, like, like yeah, here's a dollar for your thoughts, nigga. And to be honest, I would have blocked her right after that and be like, "Yep," yeah, because and I'll 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 give her the dollar back. And when I'm putting the fucking tagline, "Bitch, you thought." I ain't giving her fucking dollar back. I don't need that dollar, nigga. I'm above you. I'll take a I'll take a dollar. I mean, <laughs> dollar shit, nigga was broke anyway. That dollar might have helped out. Yeah, man. <laughs> shit, we got us an extra you pack know, of noodles. Side here talking about some, I need yeah, give me a dollar. Scary movie. Oh, here you go, sir. A nice sandwich. I said a dollar, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that dollar by him was. I thought it was one point in that, in that, that foot long. So that, that okay. Bitch that dollar got him a loose cigarette, okay? Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> hey, can I get one short? That, that dollar short. got him. Oh, no, actually, I forgot that 49 cent a piece. You get two. Yup. I forgot about that. But that, that's what you get with what, what, what tax is 49 cents? No, no, the each was 49 cents. So you know, you added that. That's about a dollar. Mm-hmm. You just give them the dollar. They don't, cent. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Homeless people, crackheads, all that. Oh, that's different. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, man, but. Yeah, dating, no. None. Really a struggle. As fuck. It's really a struggle. You really have to. People that don't try to compromise. It's really crazy. Exactly. And people, there's people that do compromise. They're even crazier. Are you compromise on this? And then you got to deal with this too? I don't think so. <laughs> it's it's kind of like <clears throat> compromising on compromising on looks and they, they, they just says like not as attractive as they, their personality is not as attractive as they look too. So they do a hand in hand. Now you can't be unattractive and then have a, a shit personality, I feel. I think that's, like, against the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that sh- you should be like, all right, if, yeah. if I'm not best in the list department, maybe I could have all the personality. And then people would be like, oh, she's such a, she or he is, or they is such a beautiful person. X, Y, Z. It's kind of like how you see people in action movies, right? Mm-hmm. Or whatever good movie they, they be in. They be like, probably ugly, in this, probably ugly like, in general. But then this movie, oh, no, nah, they bad. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, nah, they bad. Yeah. Because I know a lot of the fine-looking assholes, and I put up with it because... They fine. They fine. Damn. It'd be so hard. Like, I'm so damn attracted to it. It's just like... I don't want to be with you. Now, so... 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 All right. So what is... So what are they if they're a 10, but... <laughs> They're ten. They're ten, but they they kick puppies. For they kick puppies in their spare time. Like whenever they see a puppy, they kick them. Like 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 what are they? Oh, that's animal cruelty. That make them. That's below a one. That's below one. Yeah. Okay. okay. So so what so what they find? What they find? But they asshole to their mama. I'm an asshole to my mama. Um. Uh. I'm, uh, I don't know. He's still fine. <laughs> he, he not giving me the attitude. Like I don't know what you did, Barbara, but Barbara. <laughs> you know, I had his own ass name too. As a as a thing that nobody can't help. Like why do people get mad about things they can't help? You ever notice that? Like it's like the double standards of life. Why? Did, it's just like fucking um. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I'm not trying to go over there and find out. This is like things you can't help, right? Like hide. yeah, or like you can't you can't even help your looks either, right? That's also like a thing. It's just whatever, oh. like genetics. I I don't be mad at people's heights, looks, all the other shit. But if you got that and you don't come in with the other he, good he, stuff, he a ten, but he four eight. <sighs> Yeah. Mm. Also, also, um, what's his name? Uh, the rapper, Tokyo, whatever, like that. He like five. He like five feet or something like that. Look it up. Like little little to- little Tokyo, whatever, like that. He like he like way shorter than than what you expect. He came out a few, a 
five years ago, something like that. But yeah, you can't help your height, can't help your dick size, can't help like like women. You can't help like if you if your butt big or not or your boobs big. Or not. Ain't no ain't no little Tokyo coming Let me up. See. Made in T- Made in TL. That's what his name. Made in Tokyo. Oh, I, that. I, I, just now, I just now thought about him. I know, I know who I know who that is. But you know he's short, right? Yeah. Yeah, like him. Mm. He a ten, but he he is he the same height as him. Mm. Six and a half. Six and a half. Oh, he. That's not bad. Uh, though. It's not. That's like, not bad. Like he, he's still fine. It's just like damn. I I don't want to fucking wear a pair of stilettos around you now. Like I'm five three. He always got to wear flats. I'm already tall than you. Like I'm five uh, three. I think if I was already that short, I, I wouldn't care how much taller. Yeah, and I'm not how I don't have a problem with short dude. I've been, I've I've talked to a short dude before. It's just don't 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 get too angry with me because see I pop off on you because I'm <laughs> I'm big and little so. Yeah, he, he Friday after next year, like the little dude on Friday after next right, year. Right, right. I'll be like. <laughs> Who's dominant in this relationship? Because oh, man, you have chal- you, you chal- I'm not challenging egos. Ego chal- I'm just saying. Oh, I forgot about that. Miss <laughs> Parker and her husband. Hey, Miss Parker. That bitch was warring dirt. You want to fight, Miss Parker? Went, went, went like 27 years not <laughs> knowing that she was watering dirt. <laughs> that bitch funny. Like you, I'm sorry. Bernie Mac as a pastor, and you got to fuck Bernie Mac as a pastor, girl. And you was fucking a midget. The Lord is my shepherd; he know what I want. Nah, see, I can't do a midget. Oh, whatever you say. I can't. You scared of him? <laughs> what midgets? I'm scared of him. Was a kid? You was scared of him. your mama? Told that oh story. My <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I don't even remember that. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you remember that shit? <laughs> she, gonna bring, she gonna bring that shit up like. Uh, <laughs> y'all I ain't gonna lie, but, like, like, gonna lie, but like, why they look like an adult and they be that they be like a fucking Funko Pop? <laughs> As a kid, I can see how it's scary. As a kid, oh, you are funny. You only get to learn Gary Coleman. <laughs> Who talking about Willis? <laughs> Oh boy, you funny. Yeah, not being able to help anything is kind of wrong. It's like it's oh. just like that 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 Meech video, right? Mm-hmm. Like that Meech video is like, oh yeah, that's why your dick little. Oh yeah, so so my dick small now, huh? Well, even if that were true, I can't help that. <laughs> okay, but you know what? There are some things that you can help, but you currently can't help at the he same time. He got a micro penis. Mm, two. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amy. Shout out to Chappelle. <laughs> I, I'll suck your dick for five dollars, man. Ugh. Two. Two. <laughs> hey, this nigga Hackley. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Whoever that bitch was who did that shit, you funny for Absolutely. doing that shit. <laughs> Absolutely. No, but yeah, no. Micro penis is at any height, at any good looks. So, like, Michael B. Jordan had like a. Two. Hey, but if you was about to say anything with a Michael D. Two. Oh, boy. Dang. And, oh, he can. In that Killmonger look. I have to really work with myself on denying this man. <laughs> if he would have came with a little lock shit, joint. That's a lot of black women with Michael B. Jordan. Oh my God. I would speak the deaf, I would be wishing on myself from having to tell this man that I want to be with him because he got a micro yeah. dick. Like, why would I tell this man? It's Michael B. Jordan. Why can't you just eat anything and it, like it pumps up like it inflates, right? Because y'all, y'all got that. Like all the time. Okay, that's that's fully not true because I grew up learning that if you eat your cornbread and your bread, your ass gonna be fat. And all my life I ate bread, and it's not my ass that's fat; it's my love handles, chesticles too. I don't know where them came from. 
Cause don't not a lot of people yeah. in my family got BTs. It started it started at your mother and then it came to you. I guess, yeah. Mm-hmm. So ain't a lot of people on my side had no titties like that. That's crazy. Just, ima- just imagine, like, like what what guy supposed to eat a banana and it grow? Cause y'all got bread, right? What is it but like a banana? You get a banana and it grow, <laughs> or is it an eggplant? You gotta eat your veggies and shit. Well, they say you know it's supposed to be your vegetables for you to get you know Big bigger, strong. stronger. And most kids they didn't want to do that, so therefore, is it really your fault? Or was your mama trying to tell you eat them peas a long time Fuck ago? Them peas though, but cats, <laughs> everything, else, everything else I was with. I was with the carrots, the string beans, Hell no. the collard greens, spinach. Surprisingly, spinach as a kid, because most kids mm-hmm. had, had, didn't like spinach as kids, but I did. I was really different. But peas, peas was like the penultimate thing. Oh, I told you. And then my mom would make sweet carrots with it. It just like, nah. Mm-hmm. Like, what is this mushiness? What is this green mushiness on top of that? Like, And I'm going to say it. Carrots ain't good, no matter how y'all yeah, made them. And salad marinated. That's why I contacts now, but you know, <laughs> they nasty. They taste like dirt, sweet dirt. <laughs> sweet dirt. Yes, it has so a little you, sweet so to you it. Ate dirt before. As I feel like, as every kid has ate dirt before. And you remember what that tastes like? I do remember what it tastes like. Okay. Love pies. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hurt. Me. Let me hurt. Me. No. It wasn't even like I ate dirt. It was like, okay. So. Hey, Why are you questioning me like that? <laughs> <laughs> Red clay has a, a good taste to it. No, and it really does. Ha- it's a thing. People really do like it. Because it has like, it's like a, it's an earthy taste. But it tastes really good. Like. It's not like nasty. Is this what earthy women taste like? I don't know. (laughs) But it do taste taste good. good. It do taste good. Starting dirt do taste good. Like, and it's weird because when I be on my monthly, I have a craving for certain things. And sometimes back in the day when I used to have it, it was dirt. Certain type of dirt. Of course, I never ate it like that. But I did as a kid eat dirt. Cause every kid, so you dirt. Can your titties get big. Is that what you learn? <laughs> well, it took a long time for the dirt to kick in. Then because I mean, shit, you got hit, you got reach the glow up. I think I think everybody has like three glow ups in their life, right? Maybe now because it didn't hit me. Now, now I think I might have one. That's when I got the locks. I think that's when I hit it. Yeah, hey, I about to say I had one too when I became over the age of twenty three, and I was like, oh yeah. Do fill you, it out. Do you get another one? I feel like you get another one. I feel like, like I'm getting way. one at 30. You might. I feel like I'm getting one at 30. Because the way you see celebrities with like Taraji, for instance, it's like she, mm. every decade, she kind of mm-hmm. loves Tracy Ross, too. I think it's like the thing about being black. It's like you still be beautiful and cute through it, but then you get to the grown and sexy. And it's like, damn, damn, damn. Like, I'm mm. trying to look as bad as Sister Tyson at her age, you know? Yeah, like, I'm trying to RP, right. I'm definitely trying to still look that good. It's just mine's came so late. <laughs> the picture you had sent earlier, I was like, "What the nah, fuck?" That was, <laughs> Devin was an op for that one. They <laughs> <laughs> ain't gonna post it. To you, they gonna post it in our group chat. They ain't gonna post it in no pullout game group chat too. Oh shit! I was like, damn. I was like a completely different nigga. Yeah, right I was like, damn. Look, this nigga really How was I pulling these bitches. <laughs> How? Oh, oh my like, god! I had I had a little uh, the little the little dashes in my eyebrows. Yep. Too. Had a little lines in my eyebrows. Who was I pulling? How was I getting bitches? And Yo, I ain't gonna lie. If you like me back then, I was ugly. I'm different now. Okay, okay. And I just want to say, I knew I was ugly in school, especially like in high school. I knew I wasn't fine. But why is there some fine niggas on my dick? How that happen? How that, and I ain't gonna put no names out there. One of them, we low key technically related, maybe by marriage, some shit. I don't know. Got it. <laughs> Got it. But I'm just saying, related by marriage, I mean, <laughs> we ain't blood. If she alone, you know she a freak one. And I be seeing you on Facebook. If we together. And you be working out and shit, and you look. Motherfuck fine. So if you ever come to Georgia. <laughs> 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 
Because <laughs> we not, it's no baby. <laughs> Who going to say something? What was the, uh, was the, the Pornhub hookup or the Brazzers hookup right <laughs> We can make real good money together. I'm saying. Definitely take on the Pornhub airway. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. I guess that's it for this segment, huh? For this episode. All right, y'all. All right. What the fuck podcast what the out. Fuck? We'll catch you next time. Yes, sir. That's not. Gangy. You stupid. <laughs> <laughs>